It's time to tell the truth about London. It's actually time for Sadiq Khan to tell the truth about his plans in London. There's a massive debate right now, as you guys know, when it comes to net zero, ULES or ULES expansion, the ultra low emission zones. He's using taxpayers' money to put up cameras all over the capital, and some people are bringing down the cameras. But it's time for Sadiq Khan to tell us the real truth about his real plans, because it's not really just about ULES. He's going further. Pay per mile. So if there's been a lot of uh, people who actually said to the mayor of London, what happens if somehow everybody in London decides to comply with your net zero regulations and change their cars? Doesn't that make you less um, redundant and you've spent all this money on cameras? Then the office of uh, the, the city con uh, initially leaked it um, or said it and now they've confirmed the plans that uh, the real thing is going to be about what comes after ULES which is pay per mile so uh, the the government in London will be in charge or uh, the authorities of checking your car how many people you have in your car how many passengers what time of the day you're dr- um, driving and uh, where you're going all that and then you will be charged based on those requirements so we have in the city hall in city hall right now a few sound freedom fighters um, and at least on these issues one of them is emma best the assembly member who has been on this channel before as well and she decided to ask Sadiq khan the real questions about his agenda uh, when it comes to pay per mile uh, after eulers and whether he's going to put it in his manifesto and let's just say Sadiq khan struggled a little bit can you understand that if you had been up front he's not a mind ra- reader he would not have gone and bought that van if he'd have known you were bringing in the ULES expansion. You know you were looking at road user charging. So can you be upfront with people so there isn't as much human cost and there isn't as much anger? Because you're, you're dancing around the issue, but you're not stupid, Mr. Mayor. Honestly, you understand that a policy where people are going to have to pay out their con- pocket, the, 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 the more upfront you are about that, the more they can uh, deal with what, what their personal circumstance mm-hmm. and make sure they are ready for it. It's not really a political question. I just care about that human cost that we've spoken about today. And you know we can avoid it. So please, can you commit that you will put road user charging into your manifesto, or if you are not going to put it into your manifesto, that you will not do it to London? Wait for this. Uh, I think we've got. I think we're going around the houses on this one. So the mayor's transport strategy. The uh, reason we're going around the houses is because it's a simple question you're not answering. Um, Answer the question chair, and we'll stop ch- now. Chair, you've got a chair. Come on. So, so, so there is a mayor's <laughs> transport strategy, and I, the I encourage the member to take the trouble to read the mayor's transport strategy, which sets out our policies in relation to uh, road user charging and other issues. When it comes to uh, my manifesto, I'll publish that in due course near the election. Okay, so nothing basically. Uh, he didn't really fully answer the question, and um, he did say that uh, you have to wait to see my manifesto. He didn't commit. To putting it in his manifesto yet which means as uh, emma said in her question what should the londoners do if somehow for the next election city khan as a candidate doesn't mention the the road user charging uh, scheme or the pay per mile policy and somehow he wins and then implement the policy because that goes against the basic elements and values of democracy and the electoral a system that we have and how do we hold you to account because you're gonna have another four years in office so you wonder why people are getting sick and tired of the whole by well, the British politics but specifically London politics and so many people have decided I'm, I'm just not gonna vote anymore because what's the point it's because of these clowns doing this every single time all right so one thing is about obviously lying and giving out empty promises like Boris Johnson in 2019 general election and one thing is about completely hiding your agenda that's the bigger problem that I have actually with politicians. We're going to come back with more updates for you guys. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.